Twister, tele-existence wide-angle immersive stereoscope. For a face-to-face -face telecommunication system, one of the most essential elements is the sense of presence. So it is desirable for the visual display of such a system to provide an immersive stereoscopic view. However, in conventional systems, the mechanism itself for stereopsis, such as stereo glasses, will not only cause a sense of discomfort for the observer, but also damages the sense of presence since it hides the observer's face, especially around the eyes. To solve these problems, we propose Twister, the tele-existence wide-angle immersive stereoscope, as a booth for face-to-face -face telecommunication. By adopting a moving parallax barrier method, Twister can display panoramic stereoscopic images that can be observed without the use of special eyewear. This is a display unit of Twister. One unit consists of a pair of LED arrays and a thin aluminum barrier. One of the LED arrays is for the left eye and the other is for the right eye. Because the barrier obscures the opposing sides of LED emission, each is visible to one eye only. And by rotating the display units around the user, Twister can present cylindrical images that are separately perceived by each eye. Thus, the user can experience wide-angle stereoscopic images without bothersome eyewear. Shown here are the actual images displayed by Twister. The barriers rotate with sufficient speed and stability so that the user hardly perceives them. And with the barrier, the crosstalk between the left image and the right image is almost zero. Red, green, and blue LEDs are molded into one package, and these are lit on the same position by time multiplexing and the observer perceives the mixed color. Moreover, by employing a subfield method, a kind of PWM control, each LED has 8-bit gradations. Thanks to these features, natural full-color images with a continuous tone can be displayed. In addition, Twister is so prominent even if used as a normal two-dimensional immersive display that a 360-degree panoramic view can be displayed. For future work, we intend to place cameras between display units. By rotating them together, the booth can display stereoscopic images and capture the figure of the user within simultaneously. Once these images from various viewpoints around the user are obtained, a new view from an arbitrary viewpoint can be constructed by an image-based rendering technique. With plural booths, each user in a remote place can see the three-dimensional figures of other users working in real time in the mutual virtual environment. In such a situation, the booth works as the medium between the real space and the virtual communication space.